Previously on Mother 3. Oh wait! Oh my god, guys! Oh, the OTP! Our OTP, they did it! It did it! It's cannon! It's fucking cannon! We did it! There's a god in this world! Come here, baby! No, you come here! Oh, 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 oh gosh, okay, I'm I'm leaving now. Hello there, I'm the final safe frog of this let's play. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. And remember, no crying till the end. Okay. Okay, seriously, we're there yet. Got ivy growing in here. I think this place might have been abandoned for a while or something. Oh God. Whoa. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. Oh, Jesus. We meet again, Porky. I'll I think you see your dentures, though. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. No, you're not, Porky. Please don't over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. No. That's not very nice now, is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. Boo! Oh, he exploded! Oh no, that's not the real Porky! Ah! Porky bots! Porky01 and his cohort suddenly attacked. Oh, I actually. I remember when, when I was in the Chimera Lab, I saw a little pin that had, uh, it was like por Porky Zero something or other, right? So it was these. It was housing original Porky Bots. Which are clo like clones of himself. That's nice music. It's a mechanical ramming attack. It's pretended to cry. Okay, get this crap out of here, all right? I've already had enough of Porky, and I've just met him. Careful explosion, uh-oh. Oh, oh no, they all have shields, fuck. No, that's bad! Okay, I'm like super duper duper dead. Ah, uh, there's no way. Ah! Uh, I didn't know you had shields already! Oh, fuck this. Really had to explode. Come on, just heal us, heal us, heal us, heal us, heal us, heal us, heal us! Fire, heal us! God damn it! Hey, you know what? Fuck that. Redoing that, because fucking already used up two mementos. Proposed a mechanical truce. God, they really have to explode when they fucking die, too. I'm, I'm gonna need a buff up. I really should be doing that, honestly. Okay. The mechanical explosion doesn't block that, apparently. Or, the side counter doesn't block the mechanical explosion. Alright, I can't put him to sleep. I was thinking, well, maybe that's a way I can get around it, but no. Boom! And he explodes! Uh, screw it, just get rid of the fucking shields and blow them to bits. Boom! Boom! Oh, for fuck's sake. Call for help! Ah! Oh, these beats are bumping, though, I will say. Boom!
Get out of here, Porky! Join the fight! Uh, cue the Smash Brothers music! Da -na -na -na. <laughs> da -na 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 Boom! We're done yet! Nope, nope, nope. One after another, even more backup warriors join the fight. Come on! All of a sudden, some guys rush into the room. Uh. It was the DCMC! Oh my god! Fuck you, jerk down front! <laughs> Time to go, sir! Dramatic climax! When I'm really dudes like us, get the shot! Fuck you, attacks! Boom! Z sh shimmy Z Z miss jump down front. See this mess Porky guy was trying to use it. Let's brainwash everyone. I say it's that time I screw up his idiot plans. Woo! Smash! Oh what? Y you guys managed to kill him without him blowing up? What the heck? Match jump down front. Ha! Huh, we ain't gonna let this Porky freak out his way! Woo! Uh, uh. Yeah, OJ! Simpson! We're gonna make you pay for all the bad stuff you've done. You ready? It's pu it's punishment time! Oh, dead! Holy shit! I went on for fucking ever. But I leveled up at least. One person did. Oh my God, Flint! What the hell? Where have you been? Gamboni. Lucas, this is it. This is finally it. Where the hell you been, Flint? Yeah, we missed the car of the enemy. And we all been dragged here. Yeah, it's but it doesn't matter either way. Right, Duster, you dumb moron? Oh my god, everybody's here. Even Bronson, for some reason. And lighter and fuel. And Dr. Andonuts. Come a little closer so I can see your face better. Uh, where is he? Oh, is that what you look like? I was the one who brought you here. The traveler who has journeyed to and from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, and most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Mitch. Isn't that a window? I welcome you once again. You weak hanger arms pretend to be the last survivors of this world. Spankity, spankity, spankity. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What in the hell? <laughs> oh my god, he's an old ass fucking man. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Kill me. Why is he? He's like totally white, too. Like. You were sorry to blank in your memories to create a new world. Where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit it, in the end, creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrant by acting out of stupidity and evil. And then, Mankind will be gone for good. You could have been happy. If only you would have done as I did. You know, beatly followed the visionary, selfish desires of a great hero. <laughs> Why is you struggle to cling to life with such beauty minds, pitiable bodies, and feeble hearts? Well, no matter. The curtain is about to fall this pathetic little play of yours. Because soon, the power of power will be mine. The world and everything it is, in it has been my oyster so far. And now, I'll end it all by acquiring the ultimate power. Everything so far is so 
Sonic games, and I've given you many a concession. Yeah, I was bored out of my mind, wanting to play something more thrilling, you see. But now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son will pull the needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon should awaken. Do as I want. It's time. I assume you fools would turn a garbage or dust or something and finally disappear for good. Ha! <laughs> I'll admit that it's kinda sad. But I would be crushed under the weight of boredom if it were any other way. Wow. <laughs> Do you, you understand now? You understand sadness, Master Porky Bears? That he's godlike. <laughs> he's turned to a god. He's become so bored with life and everything. We just fucking die, Porky, alright? Then it will all be over. Ah, you love your little dramatic plays. This couldn't have come in a better time for you. Seems the seventh the final needle has just been located deep underground below here. I refuse to help you anymore. Yeah, he was. It was coerced to do it. <laughs> I assume you want to pull it too, right, Lucas? Wanna go? Check it out then. I'm even being fair enough to tell you where it is. That really will make this game all the more fun. Everything's a fucking game to him. He's just a sad, pathetic, lonely old man now. He's still wearing his dump suspenders too. But I think I'll use my shortcut to give myself a head start. If you don't mind. <laughs> uh, the more I'm doing this, the more I'm starting to like a meta. Uh, 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 bring it on. If you can catch up to me, that is. Here, use the yellow elevator all you want. Spankity, spankity, spank. Where? Uh, uh. What the fuck? Uh, oh, okay. They are! Dad's coming too! We didn't even get to say hello yet. Woo! Oh my god. Porky's just become. He's become tired and just bored of living forever, I guess, as a god. So he's just been using this place as his own personal piece of shit playground. God damn it! You sadistic fuck! Oh my god! Okay, are we even going down an elevator, or are we just free-falling by this point? Wow! This is really deep down! Ah! Ah, fuck! Bottom floor of world. Ow. Also, hi, Dad. Hi, ah, son. Oh, my footsteps are echoing like a motherfucker. Lucas. Lucas, there's something that has me concerned. Would you let me go on ahead first? No. Just say yes and don't ask why, okay? No. Just say yes and don't ask why, okay? No! No! But I hate studying, Dad! If that will be a sloth, the princess will never be saved. And just say yes, okay? Fine. So he's talking about... He said his son, right? His quote-unquote son, Porky's son, but... I, it is. It's totally Klaus. That's why they're bringing Flint back here at the end, right? So he can see for himself. Thanks. Don't ask why. But if it seems like I've been gone a long time, go ahead and keep going.
I think I'm gonna wait for you, Dad. You better guess again. Gonna go? I haven't healed or anything, though. No. Of course, shutting the elevator is broken. Of course I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sit on my ass. Let my dad get smoked. Not today! Dumb being little crybaby bitch. Smash Lucas has finally arrived, guys. Oh, I'm feeling feverish. But don't let me stop. Don't let that stop us. All right, PK Thunder Omega. What the hell? What is that? This doorknob seems familiar. Oh my god! You accidentally dropped it. No! Oh my god, guys, the doorknob made it all the way to the end, too! I fucking knew it! <laughs> the doorknob was the final boss all along. God, it makes so much sense. It's all coming full circle, guys. It's time, Lucas. I'm the final save frog in the whole game. Uh, maybe, I, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing, really. Please be careful out there. Remember, we're all with you, Lucas. And also, if you fuck up, we're all dead. Thank you, Safe Frog. Oh, yeah. Curly, there's a hot spring inside the box. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, feels so good. Ah. Uh, Axe <laughs> Hot Spring made everyone in the party's Luke's party feel alive again. <laughs> we're all blushing. Why are we blushing, Miles Paul? We've all seen each other naked by now, like a million times. Yeah, I'm kind of numb to it. Me too. Me too. But again, me always naked. Oh my god. It's getting very Gygasy in here. Oh, hey, no, we actually got enemies down here. Okay. Definitely not the last safe frog then. A Fino Mino and it's coercively attacked. Fino Mino. Charge electricity. Boom. Eight thousand two hundred experience. Hey, magic pudding. All right. Good. Oh, the sound of this thing. It's like we're it's like we're walking on Jello. So that mean I, I is, the, is the final boss actually going to be uh the mask kid? I kind of thought it would be Porky. Looks like Porky can't really do much of anything, and, except for send his his clones of himself after us. Oh god, these little diamonds! Just like last game! Minerali! They've returned! Set rock fragments flying. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh no, Flint! Oh, come on, Flint. Don't you die on me now, you piece of shit. Been a neglectful father up to this point, right? Better not die before you've made up for that. Oh, there he is. Dad, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. That that masked man, he's Klaus. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Although by this point, I think it was pretty obvious. Lucas, he's your brother, Klaus. I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy. But as a father, I finally found the son I lost. Yeah, and also, you know, your actual son that was still here the whole time. Lucas, be happy. I f finally, finally found your brother. Final needle. Lucas, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me. Just hurry to the needle. You tell me he was getting a little almost a little crazed by it. The way he just said that, yeah. I finally found him. That's all that matters. I found him. I don't care, you know? Finally found your brother. Yeah, but you lost your, you lost another son, Dad. Oh, I learned refresh. What does that do? Slowly restore all allies HP each turn. Ooh, nice. Haven't I already beaten the shit out of him, though? Class, I mean. 
I need to do it again. Show him who really is the better brother. Got a, oh, real bat. What the hell is that? Oh my God, it's even stronger. A bat that brims with an awesome power. With mystery and courage. Ooh, it is quite strong. Increases the max PP a lot as well. It's got less speed and less IQ, but increased offense by just 10, but the PP increase, increases by 40. So that alone, I think, is what makes this worth it. A little bit less HP and other things, but you know what? I'm fucking going for it. This is this is the bat that used to belong to Ness, guys. I fucking I fucking bet. With his courage and determination. Oh wait, wrong game. Stop! Stop! Stop right there! Oh no! Are we actually gonna fight him after all? See, still young. I can still control this dumb spider thing. This really is no time for games anymore. And I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way to do it. Do it as we speak. Huh? That monster's name is Klaus. Its name is Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name. Now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky's slave robot. Just whatever I say. Next on my will alone. It's my double. Doesn't know anything about you, you are. <coughs> Give me my brother back! Porky! No, we are fighting this fat fuck, thank God. Oh, I kinda wish I'd prepared a bit, but. <laughs> You're gonna be a safe frog or something, damn it! Oh god, it's doing it. Another remix of the the port uh the pig bass theme, I think. Boom ba bum ba boom ba bum. We gonna sniff ya! You smell like bacon! You smell like anything! Maybe it doesn't smell like anything because it's a person or something? He only smells like chimeras or robots or something. What? Oh what what did Porky do? Oh he did something and it hurt us! Oh, you can actually see like his like broken teeth or whatever. That's why I usually put my dashes on before a good fight. You already have a shield? Yup, of course you do. I'm just gonna pull it. Pull it away from you. Before you get a chance to use it. And cough something up. <laughs> oh no! Oh that is Oh you bitch! You fucking bitch. And it does it to everybody. That blows. No, put it back. Yeah. Not do a whole lot of damage though. What did Porky do? Ah! Ah shit, I'm not doing much. Fires four thunderbolts, yes. Costling up. No, don't do it again, fucker! Oh, that move. Ah, oh, PK Thunder! Omega! Ah, brah! Fall four. Bring offense back up again. Side counter device. Oh, stop! Bring it back up again! Unfortunately, Lucas is the one that has all the defense and offense, so it's like, I'm gonna have to choose between them. Offense and defense. Oh, let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you... Oh, oh, it's me, Doc. Let me fill you in on something. No matter what you attack me, I'll never die. If I somehow wind up eating, I'll never die. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Uh-oh. He's actually found a way to make himself immortal. Or maybe maybe his experience with uh, Gygus or something. Gygus gave that to him. Remember his skin was fucking green by the end of Earthbound. What did Porky do? Boom. Whoever it was, it hurt. Heal. I've gone through time and space so many times that I haven't aged like a normal person. Oh. Who knows? Might be a thousand years old. 
or even 10,000 years old. But despite that, I'm still the same kid at heart. Is that funny? It is, isn't it? Does it make you laugh? <coughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, man, it's just getting fucking good, man. Oh, yeah. He's immortal, but fucking miserable. Good. Hit to that beat, baby. Hey, 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 before you did something. Ah, now I'm crying, damn it. Oh. Doodle -doodle 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 -doodle. Unfortunately, I've got that move that can... Oh, that's right, I have Refresh. I forgot about that. But healing, healing Omega. Just pop the kid Thunder Omega. Yeah. Go ahead, keep using that side counter to... Oh, wait. Actually, that's bad. Because... <laughs> I just used a side move. Bad, damn it! Bad idea! Oh, wait, no, that's right. It goes through... The, I forgot. The the thunder goes through that. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon wakes up. Might end up destroying everything, extinguishing all life. Even so, <laughs> so I'll be alive. Me and the dragon will be the only things left alive in the whole wide world. I'm more than ready for that possibility. <laughs> With my eternal life, I will see the world through to its end. Till everyone who won't like me is gone. So, yeah, I guess that is everybody, huh? <laughs> Thank you for playing a lot with me on the way to the end like this. I see a pretty nice guy when you say, <laughs> No, you're really, really not. And just for that, I'm taking you down. Ow, ow, ow. Dead? I think so. Ah, I'll never die. I'll never die. Nor will I ever be beaten. But it appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment. <laughs> Lucas, you haven't won. Just see you now. Oh my god, his piggy saying pod came down. Got it. Duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right. There's this, this thing as absolutely, but there is such a thing, and it's this. The absolutely safe capsule I tricked Dr. In and out to the Mr. Sazen are making for me. 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 All for me. <laughs> oh. They made for him, huh? Is gonna be a trap, though. Before he sees himself the absolutely safe capsule. Oh, okay, we're still going. Have a safe cas capsule doesn't do anything. Oh, can't damage it. Absolutely safe capsule, Porky's sticking his tongue out at you from, from inside. Because Porky's sealed inside the absolutely safe capsule, the battle is by definition over. I think they sealed him up in there, though, didn't they? Oh, my! As evil as old Porky here is, I feel bad for him now. It's true that the absolutely safe capsule that the Mr. Sands and I developed together can protect one from every manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule. But once you enter it, you can never exit it. Ah. If you want to outside of the absolutely safe capsule, it's absolutely safe. 
I did tell Por Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But all I can do now is live for eternity inside the capsule in absolute safety. Wow! Who knows? In a way, may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong for me to think this way? No way. Oh wait, I mean yes way, actually. It's not wrong, you say. I wonder. Somehow I get the feeling it is. <laughs> actually, yeah, it, no it is wrong. I should have said yes. I, it's a wrong, I, I thought he was saying I, I, I feel good that he's gone in there. No, he's saying I feel bad. To roll him around a bit. Ah! <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It is absolutely safe after all. Roly, roly. Hey, uh, what are you doing? We roly, roly. <laughs> okay, I'm totally down with that. Boom. Porky sticking his tongue out at you from inside the absolutely safe capsule. He doesn't even. I wonder when it's gonna dawn on him. That he's stuck in there for fucking ever. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Oh, I think it's, I think it's, I think we're done with Porky now. Now all we got left is the mass man. Uh, oh god, we're still going these things. So I'm gonna be a fucking hot spring or something in a box if I must. Oh, thank God, there's one. Uh, oh, the music is in here is different too. Oh, I feel lab again. Holy crap, I got ninety thousand dollars in this thing. Oh, I'm the final frog in the game. It's been such a short time, though it seems too long too. In any case, thank you for your continued patronage throughout it all. For me and all the other frogs, I thank you. Yeah. Teardrop. <laughs> Aww. I love you too, Kermit the Safe Frog. You've been a good ally throughout this, and occasionally a pain in my butt. All right, guys, it's time. It's time to finally finish this. Once and for all. Oh my god, there's still enemies on the side too. Fuck off! There he is. Get away from that, Klaus! That's my needle right there. Not the brother I knew. No. Lucas is Franklin Badge reflecting the mass man's lying back at him. Go ahead. I'm not looking away, Klaus. Boom! Oh! Just Lucas now! Just me! The mass man took damage from the lightning bolt. Just you and I. This is always meant to be. Attacks. Boom, ow! It's a counter on. Boom. Boom. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. Oh, no! He's dis- Ah, shield killer! Ah, uh, no. Ah! Ah, oh, shit, that was the wrong one to use. Oh, well. Now don't let him beat you up, Lucas. But he's my brother, Nico! I don't give a shit! He's a fucking asshole! Kill him! Refresh! Oh, refreshing sensation. Oh god. Oh. Here we are. Oh, can't attack. Uh oh. Oh no! Actually, I don't know why I'm not just summoning everybody or uh, healing everybody else. What am I doing? Maybe I can't heal him, I don't know. Oh. Lucas. Aw. He's remembering.
Stop out of it, Klaus! From somewhere, heard someone call your name. Liv Kumatora, yes. Duster. Bony. Fire in a test ball of lightning. Boom! Oh, okay. He's just gonna knock him back out again. Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> so I can't really revive him. God damn it. Man, I just gotta survive. I have no idea. It's definitely not looking too good. Oh! Still going. It was oh oh Klaus. It was in Nawa's voice. Failed to reach the masked man. So his refreshing sensation faded. No. This really is just a battle to survive, really. Oh. Klaus! Stop this! Aww. You aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. I just realized so he actually has like a little buster can on his right arm there. Klaus. Masked man looked around. Oh. Don't tag me though. Ah. Okay, so I can't. I can't even do. I all I've been doing is physical attacks. Tried to see if I could do like uh, physical spells, but I can't do that either. Ah. Stop. Jesus Christ. Oh god, PKX Box Omega! Uh, Lucas, look out! Oh, Lucas, look out! Lynch jumped in front of Lucas! No, no! Master Man's attack! Don't major damage to Flint! Damn it! Ah, Flint! Dad, what did I say about fucking dying for me? Klaus, please remember, I've been looking for you for so long. Master Man tried to PKX Box Omega. No! Stop it! Ah! Ah! No! Piccolo! Stop it! Flint suffered major damage. Flint couldn't stand up. Oh, no! God damn it, you piece of shit! Ah! I'm just guarding the fucking kingdom come. I'm already dead, dude. You're beating a dead man, literally. Klaus. You and Lucas are brothers. Oh, the back is calming down now, the background. I won't fight you, Klaus! You're my brother! I'm not gonna do it!
the Xbox Alpha. Ah. Uh. Actually, this is this a lot of ways is like the end of Undertale too, isn't it? With Frisk trying to reach, uh, reach out to uh, whatever his name was. Can you hear me? You're Klaus. Your name is Klaus. You're a son. Seeing now why uh, Lucas fought him before because he didn't realize it was Klaus, right? But now that he does, now he's choosing not to fight. Oh my god, this fight goes on for a while, though. Oh, I can attack! Ah! Ah! I can actually attack him though now. Oh! Ah! Hurry up, guys! Please. Remember, Lucas, Klaus, oh god, we're done, oh my god, oh, oh no, little baby Lucas and Klaus. We would be blessed with two children at once. I bet they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot too. And I can see them helping each other out when they need it. them up a lot until they get bigger. Oh. Klaus. And Lucas, huh? Er, and Lucas, huh? That's probably me. How do you want them to grow up to be? To be kind, just like you. Oh. I was just going to say, be kind, just like you. Oh. Great. That's decided. Klaus. Lucas. Make us proud. Oh, class, you snapped out of it yet? Oh, now the others are just gone. It's just me. Oh, the music. I recognize it from the beginning. Probably like Kanawa's theme or something. Oh, he's doing less damage. The masked man gazed at Lucas.
Lucas isn't sure what to do anymore. Yep, doing a lot less damage. The mask went covered his ears. Aww. Lucas isn't sure what to do anymore. Mask man attacks. The mask man shut, shut his eyes. His heart's just not in it anymore, guys. Lucas isn't sure what to do anymore. Masked man gazed at Lucas. Lucas wanted to cry. Aww. Masked man attacks. Masked man is gazing at Lucas. Must be so exhausted. Come here, Klaus. Aww. The masked man looked around as if searching for something. He took the helmet off, didn't he? Aww. There he is. The masked man removed his mask. His face looked just like Lucas's. It was Klaus. Klaus fired an intense bolt of lightning. Oh no! Franklin Badge, reflect the lightning back. Is he doing that because he knew it would happen? Is he trying to destroy himself or something? Klaus took mortal damage. Oh. Klaus staggered toward Lucas. Klaus embraced Lucas. Aww. Aww. It's okay, buddy. It's alright. I missed you too. Lucas remembered Klaus's smell. Sorry it turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks. Dad. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where Mom is now. Lucas, I hope we meet again someday. Aw, bye. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Klaus gave his final breath. Thank you. 
blouse was just tasty. That's all. Now forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright. This is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Now. You made it here. You made it this far. You'll be alright. Believe in yourself. Pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart onto the dragon. Pray to it with the bottom of your heart. Ask it to protect all life in this world. Me and everyone else. We all believe in you. So now you need to believe in yourself. Now, go. The dragon is waiting to wake up. life, the lives of all who believe in you. We put it all on the line and pull the final needle. Yes. Yes, I will. This is for Klaus. The biggest up smash ever. They're like, uh-oh. I'm kind of wondering, is this gonna like, recreate all life or something when he wakes up? I'm almost wondering if it's not gonna just like, re literally reset the entire world. Ah, London Bridge is falling! Run, walrus monkeys! Men still mindlessly working. Even as the world comes a fucking part! Ah! Oh, there's that theme again. Maybe that's the theme of the whole game or something. I don't know. Da, 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 da. There goes Oso Castle. Back into the planet is whence it came. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Good! Fucking die! You're not escaping this place any either! You're gonna die along with us, Porky. Unless that was us trying to escape. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just the other pig mask. I mean, we have Porky with us, right? How the fuck would he be able to get have gotten out of there? And?
Oh, hey! What the fuck? No, guys. It isn't the end. Uh, ow! I'm sure what? Walk it! Can you see where you're going? No. It's okay. This isn't a dream. I can still move. It's a miracle. A real miracle. Seems everyone's all right. The entire thing was about to be destroyed. But everyone's alive. I want to describe it as, as a miracle. Did the dragon's revival give power to all life? That nearly scared me to death. But I guess this is what they mean by a crisis gone is easily forgotten. In any case, everyone's just peachy keen now. That was scary. That was the very definition of scary. Say, are you Nico? <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> oh, you're okay. That's great. What a relief. Hey, everybody. Nico's doing over here. Is oh over here doing just fine. I am. I'm doing great, guys. I'm feeling fantastic. Nico. Lucas said he wanted to meet you. Well, then he better get the fuck over here. Nico, thank you so much for everything. For helping Lucas and the others. This world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. To be honest, I was so scared the moment Lucas pulled the last needle. I did have faith, though. I had faith. But I felt a kind of fear so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But, as you can see, everyone's just fine. I can't see anything. We've regained, some, we've regained something incredibly immense. I don't know why, but I can't stop my tears from coming out. How's this feeling? What could it be? It's the first time I've ever... Oh, I've ever seen you cry, Kumatora. You're really cute now that I look. <laughs> did I say that? Or did I say that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop sniffing on me. Oh, even bull crickets are living creatures too, you know. Poke, poke. Hit, <laughs> Who poked you in the back? Guess who? <laughs> Incidentally, I'm Wes. And it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm Alec. I didn't poke you in the back, Nico. He's playing innocent, but Wes was the one who did it. We're both alive and well. Isn't that right? We're both well. Oxygen? <laughs> no! No! Oh, we met somewhere before. Oh, me, me, my name is Rope Snake. Rope, Rope Snake, you never came back at the fucking finale. And now I stayed in my hell forever. And I'm just considering living a quiet life as a snake rope now. If you happen to find that kind of sad, then please talk to me and say thanks. And your job saved us all. No ordinary snake could have done that. No ordinary rope is a snake. This conversation turned out to be long, just like the snake I am. And I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Nico, was it? I'm certain that's that name in my mind. Have a good year, year, year. So I'm... I see. I'm controlling myself now, Nico. Not not Lucas. It's Nico. Have a good New Year. Ah. I think I ran into a monkey. Or was it was it Salsa? Ah. Now that my saving job is over, I think I'll settle down and take care of the tadpoles. Thank you for everything. No, wait. It's the other way around. Drip down. Drip down, it knows on ground. Woof, I'm doing well too. Just saying, rolling around. Oh, the rolling thing wobbles with glee. Is that Porky in the ball? There seems to be something inside, but you can't really tell what it is. Yeah. Oh, your foot is something small around. It's a doorknob. Oh, my God. The doorknob made it all the way to the credits, too. Got the doorknob. Finally, guys. I finally got that doorknob. Now I can now I can beat this game. I get the true ending. Doorknob ending. Oh, oh Nico. Thanks. I feel so utterly, incredibly thankful for everything you've done. Thanks for everything. Wish we could always be together. Just met, and now we have to say goodbye. All people of this world are saved, thanks to you. Thank you, Nico. Uh, 
that was fun, Nico. Let's meet again sometime. We can meet as many times as we want. Nico. Bye. What's the world there like? Looks like you're like things will work out here, but what about your world? It'll be all right. I don't know. I think. Hey, other world. Be good to Nico. Thanks. Goodbye. 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 Thanks so much. Come back sometime. Thanks for everything. Nico, meet again sometime, right? Don't forget us. Goodbye. Thanks. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Were they all sailing off on the white ship or, uh, or something? Why can't I say anything? Damn it! Our, our budget ran out by the end of the game. Sorry, player. Oh, just silence. Thanks. Thanks. It's probably Lucas, right? Thanks, Nico. No problem, Lucas. Anything for baby Lucas. Oh! And Thomas has returned. Here we go. Hey guys, we're back! Everyone's favorite fucking character! Tell you about all the other characters. We've got Nickel and Lisa, Richie, some fireflies with lighter and fuel. Oh, he. Ah, smack the shit out of it. Bud and Lou with their dumb comedy act. Bronson with this fucking chicken for some reason. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I was important. I got a tan. And then Sunburn. Oh, yeah, Abbott and Abby and Pa and Linda. And uh, I'm here and I'm talking to the milk cricket for some reason. Jackie, Betsy, and Tetsy. Caroline, Angie. It's me. I'm here with the weird arrow thing. Alec Baldwin. Everyone's favorite grandfather. Matt, dude. Oh, it's me! My big mouth! I made it time for the great thing! It's Biff, dude. Oh my god, look, it's Butch and his cow pig friend. Shoot, shut up, alright? That's it. And then, and Ellie. And this dead, lifeless body. Scam! He made it to the credits, too. Thank god. Ah, I'm still alive, ah! Yeah, I need for light. Yeah, I'm digging. Yeah, yeah, ah, the zombies are here. Time to do Thriller! Go now! Brenda! Donna! Bob! It's ready! Where the hell did I... I didn't even show up at all in New Park City. Am I dead? Did the lightning kill me? Who knows? Isaac. ba ba Nana! Eh, yeah, push it! Elmore Leonard! Ha! Ha! I'm the son! Ollie! Kill me, somebody! Sebastian! Hey, it's ever loving fucking mother flippin' doodle dobble maps in. Eh! Yeah, I'm dancing! Don't you look at me, you moron! Dad, will you stop your embarrassing me in front of my friends? My credits friends! Oh, oh god, the ghosts are back. Oh, I'm getting out of here! Casper the Oh god, no, they're trying to kill me now! Salsa and Samba, there's her name! Yes, we lived happily ever after eating our apples and- It's me, item guy, dude! What's up? Uh, also, Jesus in disguise, brosif! The DCMC dudes doing the thing that we know that they love to do! Ah, uh, here comes Lucky! Yeah! Oh my god, neckbeard! Skinhead! The robots! Kumatoa, oh, come on! I'm not, I'm not getting in that dumb outfit. <laughs> I, I'm making like a tree. Get out of here! <laughs> Hello, I'm Doctor Nuts. I'm the only character from the last game to show up in this one. So I'm Porky, you know. Anyway, uh, well, my son's not here, and I'm about to go off screen. Ah! Mr. Pop and Dry Guy, the Bucket Brothers. Those are the best characters in the whole game. Let's be honest, right? Clayman, including that one guy who's kind of dying to the right. 
The ultimate chimera. We never fought him. We never fought and defeated him. He's just unbeatable, I guess. He's even stronger than the final boss of this game. Which wasn't really much of a final boss, honestly. It was just more of a... It was more of an emotional boss. Mr. Saturn. Leader, he's free! Building his tower of Mr. Saturn's, but only up to five. And his stink bug friend. Hey, it's me, Rub Snake. I didn't do a jack shit in the end. I would have thought I'd come out and have a redemption arc, but nope. I just failed. I'm a failure and a loser. I'm gonna go back in my hole now. And these other uh, random NPCs. <laughs> Include me! I'm a fucking damn bitch! That's right! Back from the dead, asshole! Woo! Oh, and the and the guy and the girl who kept eyeing each other the whole game. Robo guys. Walter White. And all your favorite loving characters are here. Hi, it's me, Random Dog. Hi, it's me, Random Sparrow. Uh, it's us, Random Sheep. And these two mice that were talking gangster or something. Or some weird accent. And the Dragos! Yay! Rawr! Ah. Roar. And of course, you can't forget Ionia. Yeah, they did. They all had that that kind of pinkish hair. Doria! Uh, Lydia! Felicia! Mixo Lydia! Are we gonna see uh, Facade and Ionia? Oh! All the safe frogs. Ah, uh, that's me, original safe frog. I was a ghost, a butterfly, inside a snake. Hey, look, it's me, Facade. Totally not. Also, the other. Magipsy, whatever. Who gives a shit? Hey, look, it's my pig people. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm important. I'm important. I'm important. Gosh, there's so many different colors of us. Hey, look, it's me, Pig Mask. I like how we have, we haven't actually showed any of the uh, people who made this game yet. Just, just all the characters. The show four, Mini Porky. Yes, cause he was significant enough to bring here. Oxygen supply. Eh, uh, Porky. When I was young and I am dead! Ah, kill me! The masked man! The masked Klaus, there he is! Poof! Ah. Uh. Flintinawa Boney the Duh. Hi, Klaus. Hey, Lucas. It's time for us to fusion ha into our ultimate form. Cloud kiss. <laughs> or Luke's. I'm coming, Nico. Uh. Uh. Oh my God, the doorknob. It's here. The final thing. Doorknob. Thank you, Doorknob, for your service. Oh, here are the credits. The end, guys. Unless there's something after the credits, which there very well might be. I wouldn't put it past this game. Ah, player Nico. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's right, I helped make this game, guys. Now, uh, letting the bird fly.
Mother 3 End. I can't move around here, can I? Oh, I realize the the metal is gone on the, the logo there. It's just wood now. Saying that we're now clean of that filthy technology. <laughs> well, that we are free of the influences of evil. Apple's dead. With that, we have reached the end of Mother 3. Wow, I, I've got to say, I I thoroughly enjoyed that game. Man, that was that was so much better to me than Earthbound was. No offense to any Earthbound fans, but... It was just so much better. It really was better in every way, which is what well, you guys just said at the beginning of this. Or at least a lot of you had. Um, a lot of the frustrating factors of Earthbound were uh, either revamped or just completely removed in this one. They had, it's not the bank thing, but they added it to the frog, which made things so much easier. The fact that there were a plethora of hot springs and save points. So you never felt like you were stuck in the middle of fucking nowhere without any way to save your game. <laughs> I can run. Even if it is kind of a weird run, it takes a little getting used to, but it got used to it after a while. It's also actually possible to avoid enemies now. I remember in Earthbound, the, the enemies on the map would always pretty much move so fast that you'd have, like, no chance of getting away from them. Well, this one, they're, they're actually possible to run around most of the time. And, of course, in t regards to the story, it was just, it was much more character-focused, you know, people didn't feel like blank slates. I mean, I know j characters like Jeff and Pooh and Paula, to some extent, got some characterization, and I guess you could say Neth Ness a little bit, but he's really meant to be, I think, a reflection of, the, of you, you know, of you, you, the character, which is fine and all, but... I, th I liked this much more character-focused, narrative-driven one more than how Earthbound did it. It was definitely more linear here, but I, like I said before, I don't think that's a bad thing, as long as it's done well, and it, which it was in this case. The final boss was interesting. I, It was definitely uh, very emotional. That said, I am a little bit disappointed that it wasn't. there wasn't like an, also an actual bo final boss fight. Like, I guess you could call uh, Porky's kind of the the, the the tough boss fight, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, he had that one move that was really annoying where he debuffed everybody again and again and again. But he wasn't inflicting, like, a shit ton of damage. Uh, I was, I don't know, it just, it seemed weird that, like, we would level up from that only to really get to a fight where you don't really need to use any of those skills except for your single skill to survive. You don't even use your three other party members. So, I mean, I definitely understood it and appreciate it for the emotional impact but come on I, I feel like we could have squeezed in something else right and not just ended it there maybe i don't know have porky come back again i don't know something or saved the the porky uh fight for after that moment with uh uh with uh, klaus you know the ending was interesting i it was very vague though i mean it, it seemed clear like oh everyone was still alive somehow i guess they were on the white ship I, I, I suppose we're supposed to be left to our, like, imaginations about, like, what exactly was going on. Um, I mean, a lot of things regarding the universe of the white ship and everything was already kind of vague, so... I, I, I imagine trying to even show or explain that would be <laughs> hard, you know? It's like, are they talking about an actual ship across the ocean? Because we are surrounded by ocean on this island. Or a spaceship? Or, or what exactly? I mean, the whole notions of like the world being destroyed except for this one area it's something that you can explain but you can't really explain you know you can't really fully imagine like what they're even talking about and I, I think that was the point the gameplay felt much more i don't know balanced and fluid this time i i definitely found myself getting less frustrated than i did in earthbound it definitely helped also that fucking photography guy was nowhere to be seen in this game. Good lord, that guy was annoying. At least in the last play, I got a joke about it, but even then, it was still like, goddamn. The music was fantastic. I loved the different tracks that, like, seriously, so many different uh, music themes. And I loved that you could attack based on the beat, you know, that gave that extra bit of gameplay for fights. That made you feel like, you know, you really could, if you have a good ear for music, you can really impact the uh, flow of battle make things a lot easier yeah the hardest fight for me was by far the the bear to trio what's sort of interesting how the game kind of really did just kind of end when, when you pulled the needle right it was just like that was it you would talk to people uh through the message boxes but you couldn't really tell specifically who they were and again i'm seeing i've seen so many influences on undertale in this game like again that sort of reflects to what happened at the end of undertale and the the pacifist ending where you go back through town and talk to everybody except this time i can't see anything i'm sure you probably if you analyze enough you could probably figure out who was talking at that time i mean you can already guess a little bit because they do say some names but 
I'm sure other ones you can figure out. Like, I bet the last one to talk to you is probably Lucas. But I love the themes of this game. I, I thought, it, like, honestly, this is a really interesting game. And I think a, a game that'd be really good to dissect, you know? Like, to talk about the themes and break it down and to understand each, like, what, what each character is just to symbolize and just the different interpretations of what's going on, you know? I it, It's definitely a, a thinking kind of game as well, which I always appreciate. It's amazing that a game that could be both so funny, but also so emotional and dramatic. And again, just like Undertale, right? <laughs> when you strike that perfect balance, it, it really is something special, I think. Because not many games, I think, can pull that off and, like, pull it off well. Let's see, the artwork in this game is beautiful. I, I really liked the... It, it was more, I think, minimalist even than Earthbound was. Probably because of the limitation of the hardware. But it, it looked great. I love the fluid animations. I think that's what they sort of did to make up for that. And it all looked just fantastic. If I had any critiques for this game, I... I don't know. It's not many. I, really, it was just... It was really excellent. I think the, uh... I, re I really do think that having a final boss at the end, in addition to that one with uh, Klaus, would have helped. That I, I I do kind of have feel like that's a critique for me. Just I don't know. Just it just seems so weird that that was it. I I know some people are probably gonna be like disagree with that and be like, oh no, that's all they needed or something. But I mean, in an RPG, I always feel like you, you gotta have like one final bout that really tests your skills. And I mean, I guess you could count the the Porky fight, but it just. That one didn't feel like that one didn't feel like a real test where I had to use like everything on my arsenal to to take him down. I will say I also liked just Porky's inclusion in this, his whole like story and how it played out, like what the impact from the last game was on him and how he's I, I don't know it was it was rather fascinating. Like just listening to him talk about how he's basically become immortal but bored with the world and everything. The twist of the facade being the actual uh, Magipsy was also great. I. I don't know, it was just, there was a lot, there's a lot to like, like, I, I need to sit down to sort of think about all, so much of this, because this really is one of those games I think it's just going to sort of stick with you for a long time. But yes, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this game, guys. It was just, it was beautiful, honestly. It was like a work of art. I can absolutely see now why, well, one, that so many people want me to play it, and two, why so many people want this to to be officially localized, because it really is a work of art. It's, it's brilliant. It really was, and uh, just gorgeous. I, I don't know. I I loved it. It really struck a lot of emotional chords with me, too. And, oh, man. That little scene at the end was just... was fart-rending, but also just like... Like, oh, so sweet. I'd like to hope that somehow Klaus also was there at the end, you know? Like, it... I mean, like, it reset everything, basically, and everyone came back, except for all the the shitheads, right? <laughs> Porky is, Porky's stuck in his ball, and the pig mask can fucking die. I, I don't know. But, but they say the pig masks were brainwashed, too. It's like, I, I'm kind of curious about how that brainwashing occurred, exactly. Like, what did he do to them? Did he just influence them through his, like, propaganda or something? Like, that this is what the world need to be, or, or what? I, I don't know. That's actually probably a good question. Is like, what were the motivations of the pig masks? They, why do they feel the need to follow Porky? I guess the same thing that the people in Tasmania, they just thought, hey, technology is wicked sick <laughs> or something. They felt like things were missing in their life. I guess in the end, it ended up being a bit like a cult, right? Following this ideology's belief that there is some hap something that's missing in their life and that they need to find this happiness. But, but oh, yeah, see, like, even now, I'm like, still, my, my wheels are spinning trying to, like, like, process everything and understand everything, but... I'll probably go and, like, watch some additional videos of people analyzing it, just because it's so fascinating, but, um, but yes, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure, and also, just thank you guys so much for, uh, requesting this game for so long, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to it, and, you know, honestly, I, after finishing Earthbound, I was a little wary of the series, I mean, that, that's the, the truth, it was honestly the reason why I put it off for so long, I, I, I don't want you to think I hated Earthbound, I didn't dislike it, I didn't think it was a bad game, but there were so many things about it that made it frustrating and a grind to go through. The things that just didn't age well, you know? I mean, the, there were things I loved, like the 90s nostalgia, the art style. There were nice bits of story and music, and the gameplay could be fun. But god damn, there was some stuff that made me not excited to play Mother 3, you know? If I was like, if it's going to be like that again, I mean... Ugh. But man, this game just, just improved on pretty much everything, and it was delightful. And I just, I'm, I'm really glad I got to, to go on this adventure with you guys. So 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all enjoy this little Let's Play. This really was a pretty short series overall. But you guys have kind of said that it wasn't a terribly long game. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become a pee penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Now, of course, the question is, what is Nico going to play next? Well, we've definitely got a few series uh, that uh, are, uh, well, highly requested and a few that have also just been released. So, I've got quite a few to pick from, but I'm going to keep a surprise for right now. But you'll find out here in a couple of days. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, what about Council of Voices? i probably still going to wait a little bit. I I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to go about doing that series because... It really does kind of come down to the numbers, you know, it it really does kind of hurt not just that not just like my views or subscriber count or something, but my my earnings, you know, unfortunately, it's like this time this series that I dump so much time and effort into unfortunately don't equate to more earnings, you know, which is always a bummer, <laughs> you know, you, you want the things that you put all your heart and work hard work into to be like the things that are like the big success and like helping your channel grow and stuff. But unfortunately, uh, Council Voice hasn't really been doing that. Um, I'm not saying I'm gonna g give up on it, no. I, But I, I'm just trying to figure out a better way to continue to post this kind of content and also do those videos as well. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I gotta kinda think on it, but. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.